Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 293. That is, what is extreme testing? Let me answer. So what is extreme testing? In order to understand what exactly is extreme testing, we have to first understand what is extreme programming, which is shortly known as XP. What is this XP or extreme programming? You see, there are different SDLC models like waterfall model, prototyping model, V model, RAD model, and agile model and other models. Okay. Agile is one of the SDLC model. Under agile SDLC model, there are different methodologies and there are different development methodologies and framework space. Okay. So some of them are Scrum. Okay. Scrum is the number one in the market now. Okay. Followed by Kanban, which is also famous. Extreme programming is also being used in the projects. Okay, these are different methodologies or frameworks, development frameworks, which fall under the Agile SDLC model, Lean, Crystal, DSGM, and so on. Okay, so extreme programming, extreme programming is one of the Agile methodology. That is the first thing. And here, extreme programming is shortly known as XP. So, what happens in XP? Okay, what exactly is XP? So, it is a lightweight methodology, guys. First of all, XP is a lightweight methodology. Okay, it doesn't over there is a small movement I have to do here. Just give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, what is XP and uh, why it is uh, so special and all those stuff. Okay. So it is a lightweight methodology, guys. Lightweight methodology means it doesn't overburden the developers. Okay. Developers, you see, uh, always they say that I am not, we are not getting time. We are not getting time. Okay. We are overburdened with a lot of work. Okay. But if, uh, but if uh, this extreme programming, Agile SDLC methodology is followed in the projects, then they are not going to get overburdened. Okay, that's why this methodology is called as lightweight methodology. Second thing is responsiveness to customer requirements. Customer requirements are given utmost focus. Okay, so a lot of response is given to the customer requirements. Okay, so everyone discusses about the customer requirements. Okay, a lot of uh, uh, whatever the customer says, we do. Okay, without worrying about uh, at all because here, uh, uh, here customers are like, you know, right, whatever the requirements say, at any point of time in the project, we accept, we give proper response to the customers. That's the next one. And third one is, takes the best practices. This is very important point, guys. Extreme programming takes the best practices that have worked well in the past in all the other development projects, okay? If you take all the collection of development projects uh, that, uh, that, uh, that are done in the past, and in, in those, if you take an average, uh, you can collect a lot of best practices, right? Okay, in this project, this uh, this was something that is very good. Okay, in other project, this particular development practice is very good. Okay, all those best practices in the development, okay, are put into one project and are not only put into the project, but they are done in the project at extreme levels. Okay, they are done in the projects at, at which level? Extreme. They are not. They are taken very seriously and taken to the extreme levels, guys. Okay. That's what is extreme programming without overburdening the uh, developers, without hurting the uh, customers by being responsive to the customer requirements and also collecting all the practices, best practices of development which are working well, well in the other projects and, uh, and utilizing them in our project uh, where extreme programming methodology is being followed and also uh, implementing them at extreme or serious levels. Okay, that is what is extreme programming, guys. For which projects extreme programming is applicable? Okay, that's another question. For small to medium sized development teams, okay, in projects where the team size of the development developers is small to medium, okay, if they are not very big development teams, small to medium sized development teams are there, then extreme programming is uh, applicable. And uh, second thing is uh, in some projects, there are vague or rapidly changing requirements, okay, the requirements are uh, rapidly changing, guys, okay, they are not constant. And they are very vague and uh, okay, not easy to understand and all those stuff. Okay, in such uh, cases, also extreme programming. And also, there are some projects where new technology or research projects. Uh, okay, so something new is happening that no one is aware of. Such kind of projects. Okay, technology. It may be technology or it can be research. Something that is happening new in for such projects also extreme programming is suitable. So what uh, in extreme programming, guys? As I already told you, uh, we take the best practices from all the different development projects. Uh, uh, that are working out uh, in the market and uh, take them to the extreme levels right here uh, there are few list of uh, uh, best practices okay that generally work in the projects 
code review is one of the best practice guys okay so it can be implemented in uh, projects uh, following extreme programming methodology pair programming means uh, two uh, two developers uh, will be sitting before the machine one developer will be writing the code other developer will be reviewing the code after a while uh, they will swap their positions where uh, the one who was reviewing will be writing the code and the one who was writing the code will be reviewing the code okay so such kind of uh, they are taking the code reviews taken seriously and uh, here testing by tdd okay in this projects the testing will be done by test driven development okay test will drive the development process test driven development not just uh, what software testers will do even developers have to do testing like unit and integration testing okay so continuous continuously write and execute the test cases it can be unit test cases integration or system or whatever the test cases the test case need to be written continuously uh, and executed also continuously and test and before the code is written the test should be ready okay that's what is the thing okay tests, tests are generally written before the code is uh, co code is built for developing the code is written for building the software okay so so much of uh, test driven development is there good quality design at most fo focus is given okay Impo lot of focus is given for the quality design guys okay design will be checked uh, design will be worked on daily guys on a daily basis they will check what the design of the software and all those stuff okay continuously they work on the design daily okay incremental development guys incremental development means what is incremental development okay so incremental development and iterative at the same time incremental iterative development what does it mean means for uh, the development happens in the form of iterations guys in short iterations here so there may be some some number of days you can say and uh, by the end of this iteration right by the number of these days some portion of the software will be ready here and after the end of the second iteration the soft more uh, bigger size software okay Incre uh, incremental okay this is iteration this is incremental the software size is getting incremented okay it, the software is becoming bigger and bigger for every iteration they are uh, releasing the software so so that uh, they can get uh, collect uh, feedback from the customers right if the customers can see something that has been developed and uh, they check that and they can give the feedback instantly and early okay so here iterations are there incremental way of development is there for every iteration uh, some sort of the software will come out and the customers will give you the feedback so these are all the advantages guys okay this all good practices guys okay which can be followed in any project in extreme programming this kind of uh, good practices are followed at the extreme levels okay extreme i mean serious levels continuous integration testing guys okay this is also another important point either unit testing or integration testing test several times a day guys okay this unit test and integration test need to be run continuously and uh, that to not one time a day multiple times a day unit test and integration test are, are done because uh, the developers will be checking their code multiple times very frequent uh, development will happen guys okay the developers keep on pushing the code keep on pushing the code to the repository central repository a uh, lot of versions of the code keep on coming lot of the versions of the build keep on coming a lot of versions of the build are keep on coming some something some test should be there to test them right continuously so so developers will continuously run the unit test integration test okay, to see whether anything is breaking or some, anything is breaking in the software or any code changes uh, code uh, code push they have done okay at that particular point of time okay so this unit test integration are done very uh, very frequently okay multiple times a day and these are generally automated guys because you see developers have to focus on uh, testing the uh, sorry uh, developing the software right uh, checking the code and pushing the code into the repository that that's what is their duty and they have to do it in a very extreme level and frequent level but uh, if they focus uh, their time on writing uh, like uh, uh, performing the unit testing and integration testing manually the time won't be enough so what they will do is developers will automate this unit test integration test and uh, allow them to keep on running okay they keep on checking the code and uh, these unit test integration test automation tests keep on running to check whether their uh, check ins are going well or not okay so these are short iterations guys i told you here incremental and iterative de development okay it iterations will be there but these iterations are not going to be uh, like uh, bigger iterations they are very short iterations okay in very short iterations uh, uh, some some sort of the software will come out okay uh, in, in an incremental fashion okay code frequency as i already told you frequent code changes okay developers will keep on changing the code very frequent multiple times throughout the day and they will be checking the code into the central repository okay multiple versions of the uh, build versions of the software will keep on coming out okay for every code change testing frequency because code, code change frequency is very high means automatically testing frequency it may be at unit testing level integration testing level even system testing also guys okay the software testers also have to automate their regression tests and keep them running okay so that means 
while the developers are keep on frequently checking their code for every version the automation test should run at different levels like unit testing level integration testing system testing level uh, all these levels need to be automated and this test should be keep on running to verify why they have to keep on running guys to detect the defects early we have to de detect the defects early guys okay so you with the help of the automation we reduce the defects early okay unit tests are written way early than programming and continuous run test that means are all level of test unit test integration test system test uh, so that they can detect the defects early and uh, they can be fixed and automation of these things uh, and other levels of testing for early de de uh, defect detection is very very important okay so and also there are some values guys okay communication is given important okay so communication uh, is uh, given utmost importance in this extreme programming and uh, simplicity uh, things should be very simple feedback from customers early feedback and courage okay here developers and testers uh, take this as a challenge and uh, do their work okay they have to automate they have to test they have to develop okay courage without courage is not possible respect they respect each other guys in the team okay uh, so this is what are the values in the extreme programming guys so hope guys you understood what is extreme programming uh, methodology in agile sdlc model one of the methodology in agile sdlc model if testing is performed in this in in this uh, extreme programming uh, development methodology of uh, agile sdlc model approach if that is uh, uh, approach followed projects in the projects uh, where this extreme programming methodology approach is followed if you are performing testing that testing is called as extreme testing guys okay extreme testing is approach for testing the applications which are getting developed using which methodology extreme programming development methodology okay the testing that is generally performed in extreme programming development methodology is known as extreme programming guys the line is very simple but first we need to understand extreme programming then you can understand extreme testing guys okay testing extreme testing is nothing but the approach for testing the applications which are getting developed using which methodology extreme programming agile sdlc model methodology okay agile sdlc model development methodology so hope guys you understood what is extreme testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.